Now, because your camera has a spot meter that can read the reflectivity of this gray card in a very small area inside the frame of your camera, and because after you take the picture, your camera has a histogram that can give you a graphical representation of every single pixel, you have a ton of information that will help you make sure that all of your images are exposed correctly and color balanced correctly. And all it takes is a camera with a histogram and a spot meter and a gray card. Now, the new version, version 2 of the Color Checker Passport by X-Rite, actually has not only a white card for white balancing, but also a medium gray or an 18% gray card. And that is intensely useful when you're trying to determine not only your exposure, but also your white balance at any given location in any given light source. Now what you're going to do to use this gray card effectively is that every uh, change of venue or every different lighting scenario, you're going to ask your model to simply hold the gray card. And by filling the entire spot with middle gray, you will be able to read and make sure that your ambient exposure is correct in an instant. You can also judge the highlight and shadow side of, of say, someone's face by simply turning the gray card to the highlight and the shadow side of the face and reading with a spot meter the reflectivity of the light on that gray card. And by watching your meter, you will see how many stops difference there is between one exposure on one side of the face and the other exposure on the other side of the face. So a gray card and a spot meter can be very, very useful. Now I'm gonna tell you something maybe you haven't thought of about using your gray card, and that is to figure out exactly what your white balance is. Now, if I want to get a neutral white balance in any light, it doesn't matter what it is, daylight, tungsten, or it could even be stage lighting, all I need is this gray card here and my histogram. By filling my entire frame on my camera with this gray card, I can see in my histogram the red, the green, and the blue channels and see how much data there is in each channel. And what I will notice is that invariably one of those channels, probably red or probably blue, will be further to the right than the other two channels. By seeing that, I know that something is too warm or too cool. By dialing the Kelvin temperature of my camera, I will notice that the histogram will start to move back together or separate further apart. So once I see that my red, my green, and my blue channels are all piled up perfectly together in the center of my histogram, I will know that not only do I have a perfect exposure, but I also have perfect color white balance for that image in that light. If you happen to be on a Nikon or a Sigma, you can just simply take the picture and then zoom in to the gray area and make sure that your histogram shows that you have perfect white balance and that you have a perfect exposure. And the great thing is all of this is done after you take the picture so that you're recording ambient and flash all at the same time so that you're seeing exactly what the mixture of light's gonna look like. And of course, those of us not using a Nikon or a Sigma camera at the time I'm recording this just simply need to use our feet, walk in, and take a picture of the gray card filling the frame of the camera. When you combine the power of the Color Checker Passport's color profiling capabilities along with the gray card and its ability to help you get perfect exposure and perfect white balance at the camera, there is no stopping you. No matter what camera you use, no matter what light you're in, you're always going to have perfect exposure, perfect white balance, perfect color, and no post-production required because it all started at the camera with the right tools like the color checker passport with the new gray card.